From the pages of IWA Ringside Magazine, we have a special report featuring Alex G. and Matt Riley. All right, guys, so this is the IWL Wrestle Riot Report. We're going to quickly go over the matches that have already been signed. Um, obviously, there'll be more matches to come. So first up, we have the finals of the Elite Eight Tournament. We're still currently in round one. Uh, the matches are as follows. We have Triple X taking on Pastor Payne. Crimson Grimm taking on Haruki Fuji. Senor Lucha versus Tim Riggins the third. Scotty Flash versus the Phantom Striker. Now the winner will receive a shot at the IWA Heavyweight Championship and $10 IWA credits. So Matt, what's your uh, thoughts on the tournament and who do you think is going to take it all? I have an underdog suggestion here. I think you're going to see a surprise and victory by Tim Riggins the third. Okay. He's just one of those guys. He's pesky. He comes out of nowhere. but yeah, I can definitely see uh, Triple X. He's been on a roll as of late. So Ryan Patrick... Shout out to you. We're not hating on uh, your crew. I'm picking Triple X to take it all. And uh, it should be an interesting final at the pay-per-view. In addition, already been signed for the IWL Heavyweight Tag Team Championship. We have the Regulators taking on the Fortune Men Runners. Of Tony Lowen and Van Death Valen. So Matt... What are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, there's no hotter team than Van Death Valen and Tony Lowen, so they're probably going to be the ones to take the win. I, I just you can't bet against a team that's that hot. Right now, the regulators are the record amount of days in terms of being the IWL Tag Team Champions. Are they due for a loss? We'll, we'll definitely find out. It's going to be super important. I mean, I know that the Phantom Striker's been working personally with these men to come up with a good game plan, and we'll, we'll see if that game plan works out and the uh, Fortune Men Runners take the championship. But never, ever count out the Regulators. They have been champs for this long for a reason, and they are currently the IWAR Tag Team Champions as well, so they're definitely a force to be reckoned with. Also, we have in the Elimination Chamber, American Territories Champion, Koenig taking on Alex Von Schnapp, Magnum TL, Crazy Carl, and James Carnage. Now this is going to be a hell of a match again. It's going to be a uh, highest strategy wins. We'll take it all. So Matt, what are, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, it's an intriguing matchup because you have, again, wrestler of the year, shotgun James Carnage. You have Magnum TL, who's one of the highest scorers in IWL history. Consistency is his middle name. Mm. You know, uh, the MT stands for something else again. Crazy Carl, unpredictable. But newcomer Alec Von Schnapp, he's been surprising. He's been a champion twice since he came in. He's recycled two IWL titles. So I would say it's going to either be Carnage or Alec Von Schnapp. That's my call. Koenig is definitely in some trouble here. Again, those are one of the curveballs that Commissioner Robert Race has been claiming that he's going to uh, throw at people. So guys, if you want to be successful in the IWL, you got to learn how to hit curveballs. Although the champion, in def although he doesn't have an advantage, you can never really count him out. He can definitely take it all. But I think it's going to be James Carnage on this one. I think in the environment, inside the chamber itself, I think he'll take it all. And then in the main event, we have Luther Alexander taking on Great David for the IWL Heavyweight Championship. So Matt, what are your thoughts on this matchup? Well, if you're a fan of the NWL and IWAR and Adam, obviously, then you will know the ex extensive history between these two. That goes back years. So it's kind of fitting that they match up again. And really, who's hotter than Luther Alexander right now? Won the Soul Survivor 4, just won the Metropolitan title, just won the, the Gold Federation? Yes. Yep, so like, you know, lock those up. Beer on he's been getting better and better and better. Can he keep going one more match to really dethrone the great David? I think he can do it. Again, don't forget that Luther is entering his physical prime, just turning twenty three years old. You know, it's gonna be an interesting matchup or it's gonna be interesting how Luther approaches his match. In the past he's been out to not only embarrass his opponents, but injure them as well. He recently told me that he's going for the pinfall. He's going for the one, two, three. Now, he claims that he never lost the IWL Heavyweight Championship. He was screwed out of the championship. Yeah, he lost about by disqualification to Greg with Snodgrass. I was unable to secure a rematch. Definitely frustrated by that. But the great David, he is super good. 
Luffy's gonna have a hard time taking that belt away from him. And if Raven hits the Great Divide, it's gonna be all over the one, two, three. This one's definitely a toss-up. Will Luther's hot streak continue, or will Great David put him down uh, for good at this point? Again, guys, you can only be able to see this live on pay-per-view. That's gonna be cycle. 68 the matches will be played cycle 69 where well, you'll see the results and the write-ups and there's lots of rumors and speculation about matches that will be signed in the near future we had the chaotix who are desperate to be on the show we have some negotiations going on with noble house we'll be possibly seeing the parents by them and we also have the challenge that the rough boys had laid out to uh, revolution extreme it does include luther alexander obviously luther is going to be busy uh, that evening We'll find out if he puts in a substitute team on that three-on-three six-man cage match. We're, we're trying to get that signed for the pay-per-view as well. So lots of interesting things coming across. Now, if you, guys, if you want to be involved in this pay-per-view, the best way to do it, throw out challenges, interesting trash talk. You know, just put that out there. You know, again, we're going to put the best the best matches forward on this pay-per-view. Uh, it is Wrestle Riot 2017, and it will be a riot. You know, blood will be spilled, careers may end, but all in all, it's going to be a hell of a pay-per-view. So guys, we are, we are officially out of time. So, for Matt Riley, I'm Alex J. Have a good night.